Ubisoft just released the designer notes for the mid-season patch that is releasing to the test server. The balancing changes in this patch will change the meta drastically, and so today I will be going over them all with you and giving my thoughts. The first thing we need to discuss is the new operator wind deltas. The charts just released and the defenders look the most balanced I have seen them in a while. Everyone is bunched up in the middle like they should be. The most important differences in this chart and last seasons is that Alibi has dropped massively in pick rate. Jaeger and Malusi did the same, with Malusi's drop being extremely large. Mute saw a side sizable drop in win rate and pick rate. Rook saw a huge uptick in win rate, making him the highest win rate defender in the game. And finally, Doc went from being one of the worst operators statistically in the game to now having a pretty favorable position on the charts. As for the attackers, their chart isn't nearly as balanced. Diana has now shifted all the way up to a 65% pick rate, which is more than what alibis used to be. And I think this is down to a lot of fan favorite attackers last season getting nerfed, and Iana's kind of like the last one that's left standing. Sledge saw a huge drop in pick rate, which is to be expected with his massive nerf last season. The same goes for Zofia, which saw a big drop in pick rate as well. The final noticeable change, on the attackers at least, is that Finca has managed to pull ahead of all other attackers when it comes to win rate. I'm assuming this is down to her being the only healer on attack and her guns being pretty good, but I honestly don't have an explanation for an uptick in win rate of this caliber. She hasn't really gotten any changes, so it's a little confusing, but it kind of makes sense. In other news, the ban rates have barely changed. The only thing worth pointing out is that Solace's ban rate is 8%, which I find quite interesting. I wasn't expecting her ban rate to be this high, but I could understand why. She can get intel for free and can be pretty annoying to go against depending on the map. So this ban rate is kind of understandable. But to move on from the operator stats, we can now talk about some of the new changes that came out. I think the biggest one and honestly the most concerning is the extended barrel buff. The extended barrel will now give a 15% damage buff to any weapon it is equipped on. This is intended to provide an interesting trade-off when choosing barrels. Do you want lower recoil or more damage? Well, here's the problem. First off, there will no longer be a reason to run the suppressor, especially over the extended barrel. And secondly, the extended barrel will buff a lot of weapons, making some of them outright overpowered. Just as an example, Jaeger's 416C deals 38 damage currently, but with a 15% buff, he will deal an impressive near 44 damage. This won't even be that hard on the 416C either, especially if you run a vertical grip, because the recoil is super easy to control. This obviously will become a problem with other guns as well, especially those with low recoil. Me personally, I don't don't like the idea of people being able to increase their damage output at all. It doesn't matter what it is, including an attachment. This is a very dangerous balancing decision that could affect the entire meta of weapons as we know it from this point forward. I really hope this doesn't go through, but we will have to see how the community reacts to it. The rest of the changes in this patch I think are positive though. Twitch is getting an extra normal drone and she is losing the vertical grip on her F2. I do think the F2 needed a nerf of some sort, but I don't know if this is the right one. I'll have to get my hands on it to find out. As for her getting another drone, I think this is totally fine. Flores is given the same treatment, so I I think Twitch getting two normal drones makes sense. Grim is getting the 1.5x and the 2x on his commando. Moving on to Grim, he is getting the 1.5x and the 2x on his commando. He needs anything he can get right now, so I'm not going to complain about this change. It might make his guns a little more fun to use. The hip fire of a lot of weapons was also changed to be more in line with the rest of the weapons in Siege. The para 308 on Capital received a damage nerf to compensate for the extended barrel change. The Supernova shotgun damage was buffed by 7 HP. Frost 9mm C1 received a damage nerf to 9 HP. Mavericks and 4 got the 2x added as a sight choice. I'm actually quite excited to get my hands on this one. Mavs M4 is one of my favorite guns in the game and the 2x on it will be a lot of fun. Thorns UZK SMG got a damage nerf of 8 HP. And finally, the AUG A2 on Wamai and IQ is getting a recoil nerf all around. I think this makes total sense because Wamai's weapons have kind of dominated on defense for a long time. And so nerfing its recoil could make the trade-off between the AUG A2 and the MP5K more drastic. Literally every weapon change in this patch I agree with, and I'm really excited to play with Mav's new 2 times scope on his M4. Also, if the extended barrel change goes through, Jaeger will be a blast to play once again. Let me know how you guys feel about this new update coming to the test server. I'm really interested to hear how you all feel about it. I, for one, am definitely interested in these changes, and I'm excited to get my hands on them. Just hopefully the extended barrel change will be removed or altered at the very least. If you enjoyed this video, I found it useful. I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. I do tons of content on Siege and other FPS games, and if you don't enjoy the content I make on the channel, you can always unsub later. But if I haven't earned your sub yet, that is totally fine. You can go watch this video and hopefully it will change your mind. I'll see you next time, friends, and peace.